Hi, today we are going to use on table row database connector. This operation selects the data from the table at regular interval and generates one message per row. And when the watermark column is provided in this connector, the value from that watermark column are used to filter the contents of the next poll so that we don't read the same row multiple times. So to understand this on table row connector, let's try to create a new table and we'll try to track the record insertion. So currently we are in MySQL workbench and we don't have any table in the flight database. So let's try to create a booking table. We'll refresh and see we have a table and we don't have any record inserted it to the table. So let's try to add a booking. We inserted a record and we can see the details in the booking table. So currently we have a single record added to this booking table. So let's use the on table row database connector and we'll try to track each insertion. Currently we just have a one record in the booking table. So We'll try to track uh, every insertion and see if we can uh, process the new row that we are going to add to the booking table. So let's add on table row database connector. It's a source connector. This connector will select the data from the table at regular interval. We can provide the scheduling strategy to indicate how often we want to read the data from the table. So let's name the connector so this connector will read the new booking so let's name it accordingly and we'll do the basic uh, database configuration to connect to mysql server so let's add the jdbc driver and the connection information port and the user information and also let's try to connect to database so we are going to connect to flight database. So because we are going to read the data from the booking table, which is there in the flight database. So as soon as we add uh, the database information, this will uh, read the table detail. So we have a booking table that's present in the flight database. We can see the table information and we can provide the watermark column. So let's say we want to read every new booking so basically id is unique and for every new insertion the id will be incremented so let's consider id as a watermark column and provide uh, id as a id column so once we provide the watermark column it will keep track of the records so that once the record is read by the connector it should not read the same uh, data again same row again we can use cron strategy if you want to run this connector or execute this connector once a day or twice a day but for now let's use the fixed frequency and try to oh, read from the table every 10 seconds so let's provide the details in millisecond 10,000 millisecond currently we have a single record in the table so we are listening to the booking table and watermark column is id so every new insertion or any data that is getting added to this booking table will be read from this on table row connector and here again we can do the advanced configuration to set the limit for maximum rows and fetch size and query timeout and also we can provide the reconnection strategy if there is any issue connecting to the database we can try to uh, attempt to re-establish the connection so these are the basic configuration for this connector so let's add the message in the logger let's try to print the payload that we read every time so every 10 second we try to read the data from the table so let's try to print print the message that we get every time let's print the payload here okay we'll deploy the application 
so this is the source connector not an end point so by default every 10 seconds this will be executed the flow will be executed As we already have a record in the table after deploying the application we should be able to see that record yes we can see that we have the first record here so the data from the booking table and we can observe that every every 10 seconds the flow is getting executed so 48 second 50th second thirty first minute it is and tenth second twentieth second so on so let's try to add uh, one more record and see if this connector can read the new record it should be part of the next execution yes thirtieth second we are able to see the new record that we have inserted with id2 we can search for the record let's search with the uh, origin we should have two records inserted so this is the initial record that we have inserted before deploying the application so as soon as the application is deployed uh, it read the first record that we inserted so we have two records uh, with flight number one two three and four five six so we have inserted two records and we can see the uh, record in the console so let's try to add few more records we'll update the flight number and see okay add one more record so we have four records now and every 10 second the mule uh, flow gets executed and if the row is available if any row new row is available it will compare uh, to the id that previously read and it will read the new record so we have both the record 3 and 4 here so when the watermark column is defined so here we have id as a watermark column so it will keep track of the old uh, record the last record that's read so that it it will not read the same record multiple times so looks like we added one more record we should be able to see that yes we have the fifth record now let's try to insert records in bulk so we have the insert query so let's copy this and execute it in a new sql file we have five records and we are going to insert all of them together so we can see the inserted count here so let's execute the script so we can see the inserted count the records are inserted successfully and instantly we can see the newly inserted records in the console so as soon as uh, we inserted the records newly to the booking table the on table row was able to read the newly inserted records so here we can see the timestamp when we inserted the record so it was at 19th second yes we have five records uh, at a time so we inserted records in bulk and we have the same timestamp so these five records were available for the connector at 20th second this way we can use on table row connector to read the data from the table at regular interval of time and for each row there will be mule message uh, generated and in this case we are just printing in the console but in the real project we can process them uh, for example if you want to read the data from one table and move it to another table we can do so or we can uh, read the data and delete it from the table so this way we can uh, read the data at regular interval of time and process them later in the flow that's it about on table row connector thank you